Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Kirsten and it's time for my February bullet journal setup. I have loved using this bullet journal in January. I think it's been so helpful in just organizing everything. I've added in an extra spread, but I will talk about that when we get to it. For now, the materials that I'm using are the same as my initial setup, which is just some gouache, a white gel pen, a black fine liner, and a black brush pen. Now the actual design for this month was inspired by Inprint, who I will have linked below. I absolutely loved her spread that she did of these bunnies with this watercolour style love heart. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. So I decided to do this for my title page, which I actually remembered to put in this time, and then do just different designs and variants on it across the rest of the spreads using three colours, which is this deeper pink, a purple and a blue, and then just outlining the rabbits in fine liner. I didn't want to do any extra detail on that. This right side of the page is my to-do list. I found it so helpful to have a monthly to-do list. It made my life so much easier when it came to organizing stuff and what I needed to do each week. It was just so helpful and I completely filled the page for my January one. And I may, depending on how February goes, maybe I'll start doing double spreads for it because it really was helpful. Now this next spread is a new one and this is a health tracker. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it in, honestly. It's just something I wanted to try out. I'm putting the days of the month at the bottom and then I'm doing a scale of one to 10 at the side and this is just to track my health overall out of 10. So I'm tracking things like tiredness, whether I've been ill. Now ill, it could be something from just having the sniffles to having a full blown cold and just how I'm feeling in it. Like I said, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get much use out of this or if I will even use it, but I wanted to at least try it. And then we have my usual habit tracker and I'm thinking of doing a different layout than this because honestly, it kills my hand to keep writing out those calendars. It takes so long but I really liked using the highlighter as a bit of added detail to this page, which is something I didn't really do on my January one, but I did find it so helpful to track my yoga and my vitamins. It definitely kept me very accountable for those two things. Then of course we have my monthly spread and I've already started penciling in my YouTube upload schedule. I tend to plan this quite far in advance. So middle of January, actually, what am I even saying? The first week of January, I had this already penciled out because I already knew some of the videos that I wanted to do. So it just helped me just pencil it all in. So I'm now mainly using this calendar for YouTube and also the Instagram posts that I want to do. It just helps me have a place of the ideas, what days I'm posting what, what's a rep post. It just makes life so much more simpler. And I also decided to add in the letters for the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at the top. I really liked it. I preferred this layout than my previous one. Again, I think there was just more happening on this and I just loved the colours and everything. And then we go straight into my weekly spreads and I've kept two of the same layout as previously. So I have this vertical layout which I really liked. It was really open and allowed me to have a lot of space for the week which I liked it. It just kept it very simple. And then this is a new layout that I want to try. I really loved having a bigger image just in the middle of the page. I really loved this rabbit, I'm not gonna lie. I think this one turned out really well. And then I've just kind of randomly dotted the days around. I haven't done any separating lines or anything. And I thought this will be good depending on how much I need to do that day would depend on how much space I actually need. So I'm gonna see how that goes. And then I've done another spread that I used in January and this is the horizontal spread. I really like how this looks, but I will admit the times when I've been using it in January, I found it a little bit small to fit everything in. I'm gonna try it this last time and just see how I feel about it, but maybe in March I'll try a few different spreads. We'll see how it goes.
And then this last one, I've done that same scattered around weekly spread because I really want to see if it works and I loved the layout of it. Just having the central focus on a cute little drawing in the middle and then just having the days randomly scattered around because I do find the days that I'm working, I don't have much to do on my to-do list at all for that day. It's the days when I'm off that is normally very hectic. And then my very last spread is my monthly reflection spread and I really loved having this in January. It was lovely just to put down a sentence or something that had happened that I really enjoyed, that I wanted to look back on and just made my month enjoyable. It's definitely helped and it's something I definitely want to continue doing, just having something positive for the month. So that's it, that's my simple February setup. There are still things that I'm contemplating adding in, so March will probably be expanding even more. But I hope you've enjoyed it. I really enjoyed setting this one up. I love the colors. I think it works really well. I do prefer it to my January one, which I'm very happy with. And I have expanded on that a little bit more, not by too much, but enough that I'm happy and I definitely want to expand again honestly this has been so enjoyable so if you have enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe my social media links to my instagram and goodreads will be linked below and i will of course catch you in the next video